When you think of the Chesapeake Bay, you probably think of things like rockfish, oysters, and blue crabs. While those are iconic Chesapeake critters, the watershed spans over 64,000 square miles and is home to over 3,600 species of plants and animals. From the headwater streams in New York to the open ocean in Virginia, the Chesapeake Bay watershed provides habitat that attracts migrations from as far as the Arctic Circle and gives life to some of nature's most unique creatures. I'm Jeff Caldwell. I run a outfitter business in Hicks Run uh, up in Pennsylvania. I've been doing this probably 28 years since I've been a conservation officer retired with the Fish and Boat Commission and that, so I learned a lot of things about the headwaters. My expertise is in uh, rattlesnakes. Most people are afraid of rattlesnakes. I started with the myth and fear of all snakes when I was a kid because of all of my cartoons that I saw when I was five, six, seven years old. The, the serpent was under your bed and that, and that's just the philosophy people picked up that they're a slimy organism. Rattlesnakes has a purpose like everything else. They're more afraid of us than usually we are of them. They just want to get away. And uh, they have a, a spot in the ecosystem and that they need protected because everybody wants to kill them. So where you'll find rattlesnakes, mostly in Pennsylvania, naturally you have to have wilderness area. And a lot of the wilderness areas are undisturbed ground that doesn't take habitation from people moving out of the cities and building houses on it, which is high outcropping rock areas in the elevation in PA, which is the top of the mountains, which is at the head of headwater streams. And that's where you find the rattlesnakes, the steepest, rockiest outcroppings on the point of the hills. So when we think about rattlesnakes and rattlesnake habitat, we envision mountains, wilderness, north central Pennsylvania into New York, which are the headwaters of the Chesapeake Bay. By protecting and preserving these large intact forests and wilderness areas um, in the northern part of the Bay watershed, we're not only protecting and providing habitat for rattlesnakes and other wildlife species, but we're ultimately improving the health of the Bay by protecting the riparian forests along these headwater streams. sitting on a basking rock right now with four uh, females that just had babies. We saw probably 20 babies underneath the rock and that right now, which I don't want to disturb them. We're trying to get uh, an assessment on how the females are doing this year, having babies and so forth. Most of the females I've seen had a whole clutch of babies, eight to 10 babies, so good day. There's something wild in PA, and when the rattlesnakes are gone, the wildness will be gone in Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website to learn how you can be part of restoring your local river or stream to the Chesapeake Bay.